Hey guys, this is Ludwig, and we're here with, well, finally, the banner analysis for the Dark GGO ranking. And this time, it's totally not my fault for releasing this late. Rat sounds was, um, well, he's probably doing something. And just from observing, I guess, other people's whale rankings, uh, seems like they're not really used anyways. Uh, so unfortunately, it's gonna be a bait banner, but let's look at this anyways, and then I'll tell you guys why it's bait, and then I guess I'll announce on why this is a big banner. Okay, so first of all, um, it is MP regen for their special skill, and then one thing about MP regen is they usually, Bam usually makes these units really weak for some whatever reason, but they fall off really fast because if they're weak in the current state, three months later they'll be super weak compared to the meta units. So right now, these two characters you have to use straight. Um, I guess had competitors, one's Tsukuyomi, and then another is Halloween Asuna. Um, so if you're actually a person who actually looks into the stats, well, Halloween Asuna on a calculator is very weak at zero combo because her weapon is not a skill damage weapon. Um, but once you switch on the 20 combo, Halloween Asuna at least does better damage than these two units. And Tsukuyomi just straight up does more damage and DPS. Okay, so we can take a look at their animations first of all, and then they both go behind really fast, so that's one good thing there. They do have dodging animations. And it seems like the MP return goes both ways, so no matter if you put them as combiner or starter, you give the MP to the other person, uh, no matter what. Alright, and unfortunately these units also do they drop like one or two hits upon fake switch, so they're charged ABAs and super strong as well. Well, these units are not that good anyway, so nobody's gonna use them for charge ABA. For the next star cranking, they will probably be, um, I guess, mediocre tier. Uh, yeah, and then one, I guess, one thing to mention is that they are dark, dark rifle units, and well, uh, I guess AR, whatever you want to call it. So no one has, you know, it's the first time that we got this kind of like gotcha dark um, rifles, so that's. That basically raises the uh, opportunity cost of getting these units. Um, so it's a huge cost to get these units to, I guess, say an okay level, and then they're not even that good right now. So uh, it's just a big, big banner. And yeah, so if you're really missing dark units, these are still okay, but in the future they will drop off pretty fast. But let's talk about, I guess, the new type of step up scout that we have. So this is actually good starting from around 750 MD if you're able to invest 750 MD into these type of step up banners like step up raid up scouts. Uh, they actually are actually better than RC scouts starting from 750 MD. So if you only have 750 MD, this is what you do: you pull the two steps on each of the raid ups, and that's. 750 MD Vaughn, but um, you get 100 Dark HC and then you get 4 pulls. Um, so that's better than an RC Scout most of the time. However, if you are able to pull all 5 steps on the main banner instead, I think that's about 1,075 MD or around that much. Uh, you should do that instead if you're willing to invest that much MD. And for weapon banner, like, it didn't really show its crit, but you can find it just right here in the weapon exchange. You can find, like, the detailed stats, I guess, for these weapons. Okay, finally, one word on the Elizabeth Birthday Scout. So, um, I guess, or for all Birthday Scouts, I guess, they are, most of the time, they are pretty big, and then, you know, it's a bunch of old units, and then uh, they don't give the meta units on purpose. <laughs> for the rates, be prepared to pull 20 steps if you're looking for one particular Elizabeth. All right, so that's it for today, and then see you guys next time. Thank you.